I'd like to introduce you to the bus drivers. The central bus drivers. Hello, my name's Rosalie Brandon. I drive bus six, mostly for central school. Hi, I'm Pam Reynolds. I drive for South Vermillion School. I do the Dana route. I drive for Central Elementary. Hi, my name is Michelle Bogetto, and I drive for Central. My name is April Connor. I drive for Central Elementary. My name is Christine Esler. I drive for Central Elementary. Hi, my name is Kelly Engel. I drive South Vermillion Special Needs. I drive all the elementary children. I'm DJ Miller. I drive bus number 201, and I drive for the special need preschoolers. Middle school and high school bus drivers. My name is Melissa Glass. I am a bus monitor for bus 203, and when I am not doing that, I am a substitute driver for whatever bus they need me to drive. My name is Julie Joseph, and I drive a school bus for South Vermillion, middle school and high school. Hi, I'm Joyce Dreer. I am best number 16. I drive at Van Dyne Elementary in the high school middle school. Dennis Everhart, and I drive for South Vermillion for uh, 15 years, and I go Ernie Powell Middle School and High School. The Ernie Pyle bus drivers. My name is Mary Jennings. I uh, drive for Ernie Pyle Elementary. I'm Mary Wright, and I drive for Ernie Pyle uh, South Vermillion High School and Middle School. Hi, my name is Dan King. I drive bus number one for Ernie Pyle Elementary School. Hi, I'm Nancy Dreer, and I drive for Ernie Pyle Elementary. Hi, I'm Vicki Riggin. I drive bus four for Ernie Pyle School. Meet the Van Dyne drivers. Hi, I'm Sue Gossett. I've been driving bus five for the past 24 years, and I go to Van Dyne High School and the Middle School. Hi, my name is Pam Kishan. I drive bus 18 for Van Dyne Elementary. Good morning, I'm Randy Dreer and I drive bus 15 for Van Dyne Elementary School. Hi, my name is Chris Thomas. I have driven a bus for almost 19 years. I drive for Van Dyne. Hi, my name is Sarah. I drive for Van Dyne Elementary. In the past couple months, we have had accidents nationwide at bus stops. We would like you to take your time now to inform your students and children how to get on and off the bus safely. While all this seems like common sense, it's important to review and remember. Hi, my name is Pam Kishan. I drive school bus for South Vermillion Community School Corporation. I am going to show you some safety features on the outside of the school bus. On the very top, we have a strobe light that we use at all times. On the top of the bus, we have three clearance lights. We also have reflectors on the side of the bus. On the front of the school bus, we have student warning lights on the top, student stop lights when the bus is stopped. When the bus stops, the student crossing gate will open for the students to walk out around it. We have our student crossing mirrors that we use as the students are crossing in front of the bus. On this side of the school bus, as the school bus is stopped at the bus stop, the stop arms will open with the red flashing lights. We also have two cameras below the stop arms. One camera faces the front of the bus and one faces the rear of the bus. We're going to demonstrate a student drop-off. Um, like I said, as the bus is pulling forward approximately 200 feet before the bus stop, I will activate my student warning lights to let the vehicles on the road know I will be stopping. Once I reach my student bus stop, I will put the bus in neutral, set the parking brake. Once I open my door, the stoplights, student stoplights come on, the crossing gate um, activates on the front of the bus and the stop arm activates on the opposite side of the bus. So the vehicles should be stopped right now. And I have two students that will be getting off the bus. And um, also as the bus is pulling up to the bus stop, they check the traffic in the mirror to make sure all the traffic has stopped behind and in front of the bus. So now it would be safe for me to allow the students to get off the bus. So they will be coming down one at a time, holding onto the handrails. And if they have to cross, they will come over here and stop. Now, once the students have exited the bus, they need to cross in front of the bus on the street. They will wait for the signal from the school bus driver that it is safe to cross, and the safe signal would be it's okay to go now. So they will cross the street, 
and the bus driver will wait until they're completely on the sidewalk or in their yard and that's when um, when I close my door my student stoplights will shut off my crossing gate will come in and the stop arm will come in and if the traffic is saved I will proceed on right over there is a bus stop where three kids have to get on and off every day. This is another one of our very common hot spots. So let's review. On the top of the bus there's a blinking light that alerts everyone around that there is a bus near. The bus has two stop signs, one in the front and one in the back. When the stop signs come out watch your bus driver and then go. When the bus comes to a complete stop the yellow pole will extend. Make sure you walk around it. Before you cross the bus, you need to make eye contact. If you ever see this sign, that means you need to stop. Once you see this motion, you may go. Remember to stop, look, listen, and then go. Now let's take the bus safety pledge. I pledge to stop when a bus is near. I pledge to look left and right and at the bus driver. I pledge to listen by watching the bus driver's motions. I pledge to go after I stop, look, and listen. Hi, my name is David Henry, and I'm the Transportation Director here at South Vermillion Community School System. I just want to say thank you for taking time to watch this video, and to all the parents, Thank you so much for all the support you give us during the year in the transportation department and also to the students. Please uh, continue to work with your driver so we can all have a great transportation experience.